Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Anisha binti Masofi. I am from AM225 3D. For this subject on organizational behavior in my part of the third question, I will explain about the two examples of desirable workplace behavior. So, uh, the first example is good attendance and punctuality and second example is take responsibility. Okay. So the first example of a desirable workplace behavior is good attendance and punctuality. Uh, so what is about good attendance and punctuality? Uh, let me explain in simple. Uh, it is about consistent attendance is when it is a requirement and essential function of all staff position. Employees are expected to be punctual in order uh, to meet the needs of their departments. When employees are absent, work and service are interrupted and an additional, additional burden is placed on colleges. Um, attendance, are reliability. attendance and reliability are important uh, factors in evaluating individual performance and continue employment okay so the example of uh, this situation of good attendance and punctuality is uh, employers must be at the office and arriving on time that will help uh, you know that you can trust your employee uh, to be there each day employers know all too well about employees who frequently arrive late with a variety of excuses possibly missing or at least being late for early morning meetings so a punctual and available employee will provide peace of mind i will explain about the positive impact of good attendance and punctuality so first is punctuality shows integrity and second punctuality shows you value people. For the punctuality shows integrity, uh, it is about punctuality is also a trust issue. When you make an appointment, you are making a commitment to be where you said you would be. Uh, when you said you would be there. Okay. The only way you build up other people's trust in you is by consistently meeting your commitment and that starts with being punctual uh, for the positive uh, second positive impact is uh, punctuality shows you value people okay for this people are busy actually too busy to be waiting on you while uh, they 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 are other work goes unfinished being punctual shows clearly and truly that you value the, their time and uh, by extension that you value them as a person uh, it, is a, it is about important and benefit of good attendance and punctuality first give time to plan your day second will reduce stress and no deduction in salary okay for give time to plan your day uh, it will reaching office on time help to settle down from the rush in the traffic and it gives more time to plan your day tasks to achieve a good plan will make your job easier and will help you to finish all your work on time making it easy to leave office on time and giving space to your personal life to enjoy for reduce stress it also reduce stress because the work is done on time hence reducing the unnecessary work pressure and prevent you from blaming others of the situation for the uh, third no deduction in salary the importance of being on time are many as in many companies being late 
deducts the half uh, day salary. Half day salary we deduct. Okay, now I will explain the second example of desirable workplace behavior. Uh, the example is take responsibility. While confessing an error can strike fear in the hearts of employees. Those who value their work, their work and their future with your company will take responsibility and tell you the truth. Making errors may or may not cause great problems with a project or with your company in general. But when an employer honestly explains an oversight or mistake he has made, you have a better understanding of the issue and even better you understand that your employee's values in his integrity and your trust in him. The employee accountability definition is the responsibility of employees to complete the tasks they are assigned, to perform the duties required by their job, and to be present for their proper shift in order to fulfill all further goals of the organization. If tasks are not complete and functions of the job are not performed properly, then the employee will also be responsible for dealing with the with the repercussion. Okay, there are four types of tax responsibility. First is job responsibility. Some of an employee's more basic and important responsibilities involve meeting job expectations and fulfilling daily work duties. As a related workplace responsibility, employers must find ways to communicate what each worker's job entails. Formal job description spell out employees' responsibilities clearly and in written form for future reference. Performance evaluations help leaders ensure that employees are living up to their work responsibilities or provide discipline or training when they arrive. Okay, second is self-responsibility. Another type of workplace responsibility is self-responsibility, which refers to each employee taking responsibility for his own actions outside of normal job duties. Self-responsibility is related to accountability which requires workers to accept blame for their errors or omissions and enrich the success and contributions of others. Accountability is especially important among business leadership to establish a positive workplace culture. Workers are responsible for dealing with their colleagues and superiors honestly, honestly and with integrity. Third is mutual responsibility. An extension of self-responsibility in the workplace is the list of mutual responsibilities that all members of a workforce share and have to one another. Workers are responsible for reporting illegal or suspicious behavior and policy violations. Everyone who works for a business has the responsibility of living up to the corporate code of ethics, which should appear in an employee handbook or training materials to establish consistency. Compliance with anti-discrimination laws is another mutual workplace responsibility. For is responsibility for safety. Employers have legal responsibilities to provide safe work environment for their employees. Federal and state labor departments oversee workplace safety guidelines and perform inspections to enforce them. Workers also bear some of the responsibility for a safe workplace. This includes reporting safety violations, following described safety methods, and using safety equipment as directed. Employers are also responsible for providing safety training to employees whose job duties require it. For example, is employees being present for their Okay, for example, employees being present for their entire required shift, employees completing any tasks that have been designated to them, employees being responsible for the specific duties that go along with their job, employees being 
consistent in doing the right thing in all aspects pertaining to their job and lastly employees working together towards a common goal for the business okay that's all for me for the question Okay, now let's move to the efforts in increasing this behavior. The behavior that was being told by Anisha just now. So, my name is Nur Nazira Baria binti Muhammad Saki and I will continue the presentation. Okay, firstly, uh, what is the efforts that we can do to increase the behavior that was being told by Anisha just now? So, uh, I divided into two segments. Two, uh, two segmentation which is firstly is the from the organization itself and secondly is uh, to the from the individual the initiative that must be do by individual itself so for the uh, for for the so for the organization what the organization could do uh, to increase the behavior firstly the in organization must make a stinging force uh, make a stinger for which is they must they must make uh, they must um, they must be more strict to their employee so when they be, when they uh, are more when they more strict when they are more strict to their employee your employee will feel scared to uh, come late to the office and do not take responsibility for what the employee had done so by that the when they feel scared the they can reduce the employee that come late to the office and so on so that's why i say that the uh, organization must take a single force for their employee and they must be more strict to that to the employee so i'm um, uh, when they are when the employer uh, more strict and when the employer uh, take a single force to their employee the employee automatically will follow the rules that was being determined by the employer so when so by that uh, they can so by that uh, they can reduce the employee that come late to the office and besides that the employee will uh, respect their employer and they will not do and they will try to uh, to follow the rules that was being determined by the employer so the example that i can give so the example that i can give for the employer is the employer uh, should make and discipline uh, should take and disciplinary action to the employee that uh, always come late to the office for example if the employee come three days come late in the office three days in a row three days in a row so the employer must take a disciplinary action to this kind of employee so what the employer can do they can uh, cut off the cut off the salary or, uh, or cut, off, cut off the salary or give uh, disciplinary action uh, to the and give the disciplinary action to the uh, employee so the uh, second thing that the organization could do is they can give reward to the employee that come early to the office okay so when they give reward to the employee that come to the office the employee will feel motivated to do their job because they feel happy to do their job and they will come early in the office every day and this also can be uh, a competitive value to the other employee so when the other employee see see this uh, when the employees see this they will feel uh, motivated to do their job uh, and they will feel self they will feel self belonging in the office so by giving reward to the employee will also increase will also increase uh, the employee uh, the employee that come early to the office so so by uh, so when they feel motivated of course they will feel self belonging to the to their organization and automatically they can increase their productivity okay next for the individual for the individual they can uh, so from the individual perspective what they can do in uh, increasing this behavior is they can they must prepare at night so prepare at night means that all the all the things that they had to do in the morning before go to the office they can prepare it at night such as iron the iron their clothes and so on so by that they will not face uh they will not uh face 
uh, any trouble to come to the office early when they pre prepare everything in the night so uh, for the responsibility so for the uh, tax responsibility what the uh, what the employee can do in increasing this behavior is uh, the is the organization uh, the employees uh, must uh, send the employee to the training uh, to the training to the uh, motivational training and teach them to take responsibility on everything that they did so when they have a sense of responsibility when they go to the training of course they will uh, take care uh, they will be they will responsible to everything that they do when they go to this kind of training so when they feel self belonging to the company itself the uh, they will automatically uh, take responsibility to what everything that to everything that they do okay that's it uh, now uh, let's move to the another efforts in uh, increasing the behavior of responsibility okay now uh, when uh, the um, the employer also um, could close the could close the bond between the employee and the employee so when the employer close the bond between the employee and the employee the employee will feel uh, they belong to the company and they will feel they was being loved in the company so when they feel they been loved in the company they feel love they love the they already love they they will love the company so automatically they will take the responsibility of everything that they do so when they take everything uh, so so automatically they will have the sense responsibility in in, in their self so 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 we could so uh, so we could produce a employee they always take responsibility to everything that they do so that's all from me so uh, so I think that that's all from me uh, there is uh, several effort that I can give in increasing the behavior that was being there by Anisha just now. Thank you.